Okay, so here are some of the vocabulary words you're going to be learning when you are reading about economics, the study of how we use money. First one is income. People who work earn an income. The amount of money people earn depends on their job. Okay, take a look over to the right and you can answer the question which is what job do you want to have when you get older that will earn you an income? Budget. People may use a budget to help them spend their money wisely. This plan lists what can be spent or saved. So let's look to, at our question. What is something you would have you would save your money to buy. So what's something that you would save your money, something really special that you would like to buy? Okay, our next vocabulary word is called opportunity cost. Sometimes you may have to give up one thing to buy another. What would you give up is the opportunity cost. So she's thinking, should she give up this to get this? Let's look at our question. What is something you would give up eating to save money for something you would want to buy? So think about something you really like to eat. It costs money. You're going to say, hey, I'm giving this up because I want to get this. Okay, our next, our last word is called competition. One store might charge lower prices than another store for the same items. This competition can attract buyers. You might have heard of the word competition in sports when teams play each other in a game. They're in a competition against each other. I'd like you to look at this question and see if you can name a store that is in competition with Target. Using money. Build on what you know. What would you do if you had $50? Thinking about your choices can help you use your money wisely. What is money? What do shells, cows, and whale teeth have in common. All have been used as money. Money can be anything that is widely accepted in exchange for goods and services. It lets people know easily how much things are worth. In the United States, people use dollars and cents as money. People who make goods and provide services except US dollars as payment. Let's take a look at money in these three countries. In Japan, it's called the yen. In Mexico, it's called a peso. In South Africa, it's called a rand. Let's look at compare the peso and the rand. What differences do you see? I see a big difference here, here. Okay, let's look at our question over to the right. Have you ever had any money from another country? Have you ever gone on a vacation and actually had some money from that vacation? When my family went on a trip to Mexico, we had a lot of pesos. And my son would call it a peso. Money or barter? What's for lunch? These students are bartering or trading food. So you're not really supposed to do this in the lunchroom, but this guy's trying to trade his sandwich for her apple. So barter means to trade something, to make a trade. Most people around the world use money to pay for goods and services. 
Still, many people barter. Barter is the direct trading of goods and services. It allows people to get what they want when they do not have money to spend. When you trade carrot sticks for cookies, you are bartering. Using money is often easier than bartering. Money tends to be small in size. It is easy to carry. Things used for barter might be any size. People agree on what money is worth. When bartering, people must decide the worth of the goods or services being traded. Barter works only when each person has something the other wants. Money can be used whenever someone is buying, ready to buy or sell. Okay, you guys are going to watch, you're going to watch the video, little video, fun video on bartering, and then you could do your next assignment. Earning and spending. To earn money, people work. They earn different incomes for different jobs. Income is the money people earn for work. Workers with special skills usually have higher incomes than others. People who go to college usually earn more than those who do not. Earning money is just one reason to go to college. Some people go to college to learn to do work that they enjoy. Being smart about money. People use the income they earn to pay for goods and services. Families spend money on things they need and want. Some families make budgets. A budget is a plan for using money. It shows a person's or family's income. It also shows how much of that income can be spent or saved. People make budgets to decide the best way to use their money. Money planning. A budget can help you see how much money you have to spend. How much money does this boy spend? Okay, so here is the boy, and here's what he earns. So he, he gets an allowance, and he earns a dollar for the allowance. He does gardening work for $3. So his total income is $4. Now, he's going to be spending some money. So if you look here, he spends, to buy a bottle of water, he spends 75 cents. Then he buys a present for Sam for $3. So the total amount of money he spends is $3.75, which leaves him 25 cents left to save. This is what a budget is. Right now, what is something that you can do to earn an income? What's something that you can do that would earn an income? You can go ahead and answer that question over to the right. Saving money. Many people save the money they don't spend right away. They might save for things such as cars, homes, and school. They might collect coins for fun. Saving money is one way to prepare for the future. To save money, people may put it in a bank. Banks help you save or borrow money. When you save money in a bank, your money earns interest. Interest is the money the bank pays you for keeping your money there. The longer you save money at the bank, the more interest your money can earn. 